Have you ever found yourself asking if it were possible to go back to change something in your past, your present would be better? Have you ever caught yourself concerned about how your background is responsible for your failures and struggles today? No matter how bad you feel about your past, author and speaker, Og Mandino, understands how you feel. I started listening to Mr. Mandino's book, The Greatest Salesman, and I must confess, his story fascinates me. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a successful author and speaker, Og Mandino's advice for resisting failure and fighting for success. His story. Og was born on December 12, 1923, to a plain mother in the USA. As a young boy, his mother used to tell him he would become a successful author. She told him this all the time until he believed it very strongly in his heart. Og planned to go to college after high school. However, his mother died just days after he completed his high school education. As a result, he could not further his studies. He joined the army during World War II and fought as a bombardier. After the war, there was no job available for a man who had only a high school certificate. He started to do odd jobs, then got a job as a salesman selling life insurance. He was so poor, he got married to a lady he had been dating before the war, and they had a daughter. Their poverty grew worse until Augmandino started to drink it off. He got so addicted to drinking until his wife and daughter left him. One day, while he was going to buy a gun to kill himself, he changed his mind and went into a library to read books. He found a book by W. H. Clement Stone in the self-help section titled Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. He devoured the book and was fascinated by Mr. W. Clement Stone, a successful businessman at the time, and he went to apply at Clement Stone's company as a salesman. He worked so hard until Mr. Clement Stone noticed him and gave him the responsibility to manage a department with access to unlimited resources he would need to get the job done. Augmandino put in his best as a salesman over at the department, and it succeeded. Then he got the idea to write a book. He wrote the book, and soon he was hired to become a magazine editor, a field in which he had no experience. Long story short, Augmandino wrote and published an article in the magazine that got him the book publisher's attention. That was his starting point to success as an author and also a notable salesperson. The advice of Augmandino, as mentioned in the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, is simple. Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. Failure isn't final. Sometimes we wonder why we are unable to succeed as others. We are surprised at how our lives aren't as perfect as some of our mates' lives. We feel held back because of some poor background, wrong upbringing, or lack of resources. But Mr. Augmandino said, Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. Most times, we do not succeed, not because we could not succeed, but because we gave up before we were ever close to success. I remember those days when I started to write novels. I had been successful in a short time, just writing poems, short stories and novellas. I had a good time writing that kind of stuff, but I was often struggling to complete a novel. When I started a novel and hit a block, I would quit that novel and start another. The result is that I had so many uncompleted novels for quite a long time. Some of us are like this. We want to succeed, yes, but our determination to succeed isn't strong enough. Sometimes we do not have enough threats to teach us that we must succeed or die trying. Yet, this is what I found about life. Until you come to a point in your life where you eliminate all thoughts of going back or giving up, you will not succeed. When you still have options, when you know you can always go back should things become too tough, you will most likely use the next exit when you're faced with some tough challenge on your way to the top. Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. Your determination to succeed is what will determine if you will ever succeed. There is something about determination. It helps you focus your entire strength on that thing where you tell yourself, come what may, I will succeed. Brian Tracy said, Never consider the possibility of failure as long as you persist, you will be successful. Winston Churchill said, If you're going through hell, keep going. Those who believe they will succeed always do. Those who do not believe they will succeed never do. Success isn't a matter of wishing or luck. Success is a matter of making up your mind to do all it takes ethically to make your mark in the world. Anthony Robbins grew up in a poor family. He watched how it was a struggle to have a meal on Christmas Day. Out of his frustration came a determination to succeed, and he promised himself, 
When I succeed, I will feed the poor, especially on Christmas Day. With nothing in his bank account, but only a dream in his heart, Tony Robbins read over 700 books in college and came into the business world to succeed. But this did not happen without a struggle. For so many years, he worked odd jobs and wondered when his time would come. Some years later, when he had succeeded and was in his private helicopter en route a speaking engagement, he saw the old place where he used to work odd jobs. He began to cry. Dreams do come true. Ogmandino said, Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. The success you do not have now is a success you will have later if you will never give up but will keep fighting for it. Your willingness to succeed must outweigh, drown out and kill your willingness to give up. Within your book of success, you must rule out the option to ever give up. For a long time, I was constantly looking at the exit points whenever things got so tough. It got so obvious I was a quitter that people around me noticed I would jump out if a thing became too tough. But I knew there wasn't going to be anything out of my life if I kept living that way. Has it been easy refusing to quit? Nope. As they say, slow and steady wins the race. Putting a few wins constantly under my belt has continued to encourage me to keep trying. We don't become all we hope to be in a day. The time will never come when we could snap our fingers and all our problems will go away. What matters isn't what you're going through, but what you do with what you're going through. Ogmandino said, Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. Don't quit until you have succeeded. Fight to succeed, because on this side of life, no one will fight the battle. Only you can fight to win. People can help you train, but they will not join you in the ring to fight for the prize. It may take a while and look like nothing good will happen, as it happened to Mr. Ogmandino, but like the successful author and salesman said, failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.